to my channel welcome back to another video my name is Aaliyah if you're new here and I want to first start off by thanking Vogue thank you guys so much for having me today thank you for allowing me to share my beauty secrets and my tips although it's just a few I mean like not really but we're gonna be manifesting all 2020 so let's just manifest it the really cool thing about YouTube is that a lot of people come on here to watch vlogs and makeup videos but they also come on here to learn so I figured like even though for me this might seem common sense it might not to others so why not share so if you're new here do not forget to subscribe and click that notification but with that being said let's get right into this video uh, my first hack is for the thick girls the girls with the junk in their trunks hey miss fatty fatty you a murder Millie love it the way you twist on a turn up. Now, let me just clarify. I'm not like thick, thick. I do have, you know, me. I'm, I'm a little meaty. But the one thing my thighs like to do is touch. And that shit is mad annoying. So I love to walk around with deodorant. And let me explain before you're just like, deodorant? Yes, deodorant. Buy yourself some unscented deodorant. And let me tell you why this actually works. Well, if you put deodorant between your thighs, that area that's kind of irritating, trust me when I tell you, like, this is like a temporary fix. So you're gonna have to walk around with your unscented deodorant, which I mean like does it really matter like it's deodorant You want to walk around with deodorant this actually stops my thighs from irritating and just kind of just like relieving some pain Especially because when it's hot outside and your thighs just rub it's just so irritating Now that you learned that hack the one thing that you don't want to do is sort of leave it alone now, a lot of the times with thick thighs, you do get stretch marks. I pray that everybody has this in, the, in their household, but you need to get yourself some bio oil. Yes, bio oil. Boop. Bio oil is your best friend. Although they promote it as for like stretch marks and like uh, preventing tight skin or whatever the case may be, bio oil is also really good for um, discoloration and sort of lightening up the area. And I use it for after shaving, my armpits, my vag area, my legs. I use it everywhere. Now it's very light in scent, um, but it is an oil, so a lot goes a long way. So you honestly just need to buy like the smallest bottle and just put it in your intimate areas. And trust me when I tell you that stretch marks in between the leg area your best friend Th thank me in the comments thank me in the comments too okay let me tell you guys like I'm really gonna put you guys on some real like I don't, don't want to say ghetto but more of just like budget friendly tips now I know that buying like iPads and like eye masks are so expensive because they normally come for like it's normally like one pair for like what six dollars you think about it if you've ever been to the spa think about it cucumbers don't make your don't make your mind wander, okay? Cucumbers have an anti-inflammatory effect that help reduce puffiness. So that cucumber is actually really, really good. Now, I like to buy these like really small skinny cucumbers and I like to cut them vertically for a knife or a hand peeler. And I actually put these in the fridge for maybe about 10 minutes. It honestly doesn't take too long to freeze. And I like to have it sort of that texture where it's um, a little bit frozen but like bendable in a way that you can shape it to your eyes and I love to do this the cooling feeling actually decreases the blood flow around your eyes and altogether it just alleviates swelling and it's like one of those hacks where you just feel like you, it's just budget friendly you know what I mean I get this eye puffiness during the summertime especially during allergy season or even like just like waking up in general like my underbags are designer but they real puffy, you know? Now, a lot of people don't really know about this next product and um, I posted it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, you should go do that. Um, and I posted this raw shea butter, so African black soap. And a lot of people had a lot of questions about it. And I feel like I'm like this, this advocate for like black shea butter soap because I feel like if you don't have this, like what are you doing? Like my mom put me on this like way when I was like when I was really, really young and I just feel like it's helped my skin so much. Now I've never had really acne prone skin. I've always had like an uneven skin tone, um, especially from my neck to my chest to my legs. Like everything is like always like a different color. And um, the one thing I really love about black shea soap is how like just how amazing it is like I know it sounds like so weird and cliche but it's like it really works now if you're someone who's gonna use this for your face let me just tell you this this shit burns do not get this in your eyes all natural ingredients and you can get it from your beauty supply store for a very cheap price actually but the shit burns your eyes please be cautious it's not like an everyday facial soap it's one of those like once in a while skincare 
like literally just keep it at that because really and truly it really actually lightens and evens out your skin tone but I also like to use this for intimate areas as well so an underarm areas vag areas so just areas that you know can get a little bit discolored from like shaving and waxing whatever you choose you can get that at your beauty supply store um, the shea butter brand is a really good one I I actually prefer to use the black soap that comes in like plastic. I just feel like it looks more raw, it looks more natural, and um, they're really inexpensive, really. And a lot goes a long way because, like I said, you don't really want to use it every day just because of the properties that are in it. But I'm gonna put y'all on. I'm putting y'all on. I, I'm telling y'all, get with the black soap. We're gonna go straight into shaving now. I'm gonna show you all these gloves in this next clip and you're probably gonna be like, girl, you can get this at the doll store. Yes, you can, but like I said, tips and tricks that are affordable, right? So these gloves are gloves that I use every time I sh decide to shave my legs or exfoliate my entire body. If you haven't seen already, I did post a DIY body scrub and I like to use these gloves when I'm using that body scrub right before shaving because it takes away like dead skin um, and just kind of just like, whatever is like on your body right now we're all in quarantine so you know a pedicure is really needed and these gloves have helped tremendously if you're someone who has like dry feet or kind of just like cracky heels I feel like they're like a safer tool in a way because a lot of times people like to get like the heels um, I don't know like a heel file and they can be really taking off a lot of skin which actually might not be a good idea so I like to use this before shaving now this video is a little bit like of a two-in-one because the whole reason why I'm even doing this is because I actually shave with dun 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 conditioner conditioner I know you're probably like what me and shaving cream we're not we're not besties okay shaving cream leaves my skin so dry when I tell you so dry it's like like I'm thirsty after that's how dry it leaves me I found like conditioner is like so moisturizing and you really don't need to buy you know expensive conditioner now if you're a black girl and you're watching this you're probably like girl my expensive shea moisture and my expensive you know curly routine hair just mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm gonna use that kind of conditioner and realistically like I can't really tell you what conditioner would be best but just like a cheaper conditioner and I just feel like it just leaves your skin so nice and smooth um, and then you can put on your bio oil two in one you see what I'm saying like get, get with it <laughs> now this next tip or I guess you can say it's a hack this is a, this is a fun one so I learned this a couple years ago on Instagram um, and the trick is to actually get yourself sort of like a what is this not a pad it's a, a panty liner so get yourself a, a liner and if you're ever wearing something like a long sleeve top or something where you, you actually can show that you're like sweating so like clothes like even this green top or like maybe like a gray top a white top those are like clothes that kind of show that you're sweating right so you want to get yourself a panty liner let me tell you if you didn't know this trick I'm putting you guys on because this is like eye-opener you can stick this actually in your armpit area so the sticky part would be on your clothing side and you can prevent yourself from sweating or not really sweat marks just like that just from this now I can't tell you guys what if you're gonna get creasing or anything like that from wearing this but you might as well give it a try and see if it works for you and it has definitely worked for me in the past especially like when I would go out and I would wear like maybe long sleeve tops like I don't know something cute but I feel like a lot of the times you just never know when you're just gonna be like really hot especially in the winter time so this is like a hack guys this is like your best friend now back to DIY body scrubs now I'm wearing like a lip combo so it's sort of like a matte lipstick and then I kind of wear like a nude um, Mac on top so like a lipstick I don't know if you guys ever want to see this tutorial let me know because you know your girls out here bored in quarantine trying to figure out ideas and videos to make for you guys we love to exfoliate my lips before applying any type of matte lipstick because you're not trying to be that one that crusty let me just you know that's kind of rude let me not say that but you know what you mean. if you get you, you feel the flow you, you know what I'm trying to say you're not trying to be that one you're not trying to be that person so therefore make yourself an easy lip scrub now of course I'm gonna show you guys how to do that because I mean like what kind of video would this be without showing you guys so I like to grab sugar and these are ingredients that are actually in your household so I grab about a teaspoon of sugar because it's so easy to make there's no need to just be making like a bulk and saving it but I mean like feel free to do so if you really need to but I grab a spoon of sugar half a teaspoon of lemon juice and half a teaspoon of honey and I mix that all up and the sugar kind of acts as 
the exfoliant in this case. Now you can use your finger or you can use a popsicle stick like I did in this video, but it just makes your skin or your lips feel so amazing after and it's just smoother to apply like matte lipstick or even lip gloss, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, that's like one thing that I just love to do and I just feel like it's been a part of my self-care or like skincare or beauty secret for so long like I've been doing this for years now these products are so easy to make and that's obviously like no shade the reason why a lot of people are coming up with like lip gloss lines and like um, skin like scrubs and like candles because they're so easy to make so like you might as well make all these things there's no reason for you to buy it unless you're supporting like a small business or a black owned business guy or a black owned business um, but other than that these things are so easy to make so why not just make them you know what I mean now the next thing I have is something that I bought again a very long time ago and the, this is probably the reason why I even decided to make this video because a lot of people had asked me about this this is a scalp massager for when you're shampooing your hair. Also a detangler and I love to use this and I know of course you can like scratch your scalp and just kind of just use your fingers but it just like alleviates that kind of that pressure of using your hands and I would just honestly like I can I'm just feeling it right now and just just oh, like that feeling of just detangling. I don't know if I'll link this in the bio. I can try to find it if you guys are really interested again, then I can try to just find it or get the name for you guys. But this has been so good with just kind of just taking away the guck out of your hair, the gel and all the products and just the tangling and cleaning your scalp. So get you one. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys is something that I kind of grew up using. Um, comment down below if this is something that you use as well growing up. And um, I just feel like it's one of those things where you know like people just have like a teddy bear or like sort of like a kind of just like a doll or a brat doll or a Barbie doll that they kind of just like grew up always just holding in their bed? Me was a water bottle, okay? Oh what? Yes, a water bottle. Like something about... This just brings back like childhood memories. Now let me just show you guys what it kind of looks like because you're probably like, what is this? A water bottle where you would fill um, hot water, like boiled water in. And I like to use this on my period or just like whenever I just kind of feel sick or something like that. I kind of just place it on my stomach area. Um, just kind of just like alleviate pain whenever I'm just like having cramps and stuff. Just like it makes you just feel comfortable, you know what I mean? And I bought this, um this kind of holder from I think the dollar store really because it, it is really hot and you're not gonna want to have this like right on your skin you will burn your skin so you might want to just kind of grab something like this to kind of just put over it and it's just so soothing like honestly like it's just like one of those things that just make me feel so much better whenever I am having cramps um, or stomach pains or I feel sick so yeah you should get yourself a hot water bottle <laughs> last but not least I was kind of put on this game of like very recently I would say within the last six months um, if you're somebody who does not tie your hair down you should probably try to tie your hair down just because um, of frizzing and kind of just like split ends and stuff like that one thing you should definitely tie your hair down with is satin now satin actually is really good for your hair particles locks the moisture in your hair um, but if you're someone who's kind of like uncomfortable with satin like hair ties or anything like that invest in a satin pillowcase um, I actually got these pillowcases off of Amazon it was two for twenty dollars I think so they can be a little bit pricey but they are worth it now if you realize a lot of the times when we don't cover down our hair we have a lot of hair products in our hair right so we have like maybe gel maybe conditioner maybe just like a hair serum and a lot of those products actually go into and they seep into your cotton pillowcases now if you're somebody who is um now if you're somebody who has a lot of acne a lot of the times this may be the reason why you are always having acne prone skin because of all the hair stuff that are is on your pillow and you're sleeping on your pillow and i'm not saying that you would never get this with a satin pillowcase but what's really interesting about satin is that a lot of people have said that satin pillowcases are really good for sort of preventing uh, breakouts, especially if you have acne prone skin. Realistically, um, satin pillowcases are really good for preventing skin irritation and hair breakage. The thing that I love about it is like the cooling effect of it, um, especially during the summertime. I just feel like whenever I just like put my head on the satin pillow, it's so cold and it feels like really, really good. Um, and I just realized that, um, I just feel like I sleep a little bit better 
with the satin pillowcases, so yeah. <laughs> So those are my 10, I think it's about 10 little beauty tricks and tips and hacks. Um, like I said, they're kind of like common sense things, but if, if you're someone who actually um, learned something new today, please comment down below because I really would love to continue making videos like these, um, especially because I feel like I have like a lot, of, a lot of tips and tricks that I'd love to share on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and click the notification button so you never miss out on a video. I most likely post on Mondays, but like I said, it just the schedule right now is all over the place with quarantine. Also, comment down below if you guys like this like setup. Like right now, I'm like in between setups. I had another setup, another setup upstairs, like in front of like the window, and then I kind of felt like I was missing like that homey vibe. So then I started to go like against this wall, and now I'm against this. So like honestly, just let me know which one you like, you know? Because I'm trying to just trying to get like a consistent background. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.